everyone. Welcome to Teacher Dance Kroger YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you on mail merge in Microsoft Word. Well, I am an ICT teacher, graphic designer, web developer. And if you wish to get any consultation, you can use the comment section here in this video, or you can reach me directly through my contact and email as provided. But guys, before we go going further, I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel. Just hit the bell to get notifications too, so that in case as I update the videos, upload the videos, you receive the notifications for the videos. So let us get started. In our video today, we're going to cover the meaning of mail merge, cover the main components of mail merge, we'll cover steps to perform a mail merge, then at the end, we'll look at tips and best practices probably that will be all for, for it today so let us get started first things first what is mail match well mail match is a feature that lets you create a bunch of documents that are personalized for each recipient think about a scenario where you are the class counselor or course coordinator and you have a letter to email or to send to all the members of your class, but you'd wish each member to receive their letter, their name, with their contact, registration details, and the course they are taking. Without mail match, that is very time consuming because it would mean you have to type in the video letter as you add those details for each recipient. But well, like you discover in this video, mail merge can simplify that process. Create one letter, then send several members by simply magic putting together the letter with the recipients. Number two, for us to get these concepts very there are terms, there are key concepts we need to first share briefly. Uh, perhaps before we get to the key concepts, the documents that can be created through mail match include, among others, letters, envelopes, labels, and emails. And uh, like I'd said, the very important terms include main document. So the main document simply means a template that contains the common text and layout, which will be the same in each MAD document. In our case, like we said of a course coordinator, you will have to create that one letter that you would wish to send to all other people. So that letter becomes the main document because it is from it that we now have to create the other letters that you are going to send to other people. Now, the other very important term is data source. If you have the letter, then you need to prepare a file, also known as a database, that now will contain the recipient information. And create your file in Microsoft Excel, and then create those columns. That includes the preference that suits you. Some details, maybe, like in our case, the course coordinator would wish to send to the letters, each letter having the name, the address, and, and maybe contact, maybe the course they are taking. So data source would mean the file that has the recipient's information. Now, the other very important term is the merge field. In the data source, there are column headings. Eh? So those column headings are the ones that become the merge field. So when creating your letter, you need some placeholders that 
you need to include in the main document where the data from the data source will be inserted. Think of a merge field as the space where you're going to put the details for each of the recipients in that letter. So I've seen some authors or users using the curly brackets, the double curly brackets as the placeholder to take up that field, which will be added in the data source. Okay, now finally, before we go to the practical and get this concept very well, let us also share about the steps to perform in mail merge. There are logically six steps. <clears throat> Step one is you select the document type. For example, decide between the documents. For example, a letter, you want to create an envelope, you want to create a label, take the decision. So after you have selected the document type from which you want to output your final uh, document, the next step is now create the, the main document, create the template that will be utilized in preparing the other letters or similar letters for the other recipients. You can open Microsoft Word or use the existing document you've already created and then create that document. While creating that document, leave placeholders, leave the gaps as merge fields where the data will be added automatically for those details you want to bear in the letters. The fourth step, now link the data source. Now connect our main document to the other file having the recipient's details from which we want to merge or put together with the main document. And the fifth step is we arrange and preview, of course, look at the, the letters, how they would look like, and then we complete. Now, let, let, let us try to practically discuss how we can uh, do this. <clears throat> you can see my desktop. In step one, we have said uh, in your folder, create the main document. So you can use Microsoft Word to create your document. I have a sample document here that I wish us to utilize. My case, I propose we look at a letter. So I have a letter for, from Kisa Senior Secondary School in Iganga. And uh, this letter be shared with the recipients and wish them to have their unique address, unique name, then unique amount they are contributing. So it is why when creating your letter, you leave your space, which is going to be the merge field. You can either use the square brackets or use the curly brackets. It has no any harm. As long as you know that this is the space I'll utilize for a specific content. Now, the next step, we go to the mailings tab now. After creating your data source, rather creating your main document, maybe to generalize quickly, let's just look at what you need. And then we do it practically. So you need number one, the main document. Number two, you need to use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, or Outlook to prepare the details of the recipients. In our case, we have three columns. We want each recipient to receive a letter that includes his name, her name, their address, each of the attribution. So, Prepare all your details. You can have over a thousand, depending on your need. Eh? And you can have as many columns as possible. So that's our data source. You need the data source, and then you need the draft document. Eh? That now be merged, integrated. So to complete the mail merge process, we we'll go to the mailing tab. Then one click on Start Mail Merge. Choose your output. Do you want out letters? Do you want out 
email messages, envelopes, labels. Let us choose letters. And after I've chosen the output document, add the data source. Go to select recipient. In the same group of start mail months, click on select recipients. There are three ways. You can type a new list and use an existing list. You can select from Outlook. So in our case, we already have the file created in Microsoft Excel. So we click use an existing list. Please, when you browse, it is important. Don't forget the location where your data source was created. Our case is desktop and in a folder called mail match. File name was called data source. So browse your data source and open it. Microsoft text, if your data source is in Excel, then you'll have to select the sheet. You're aware Excel can have very many sheets. Huh? So we select the sheet, and then you click OK. And wow, you see, we have integrated the main document to the data source. Now, in the other step is you now finalize by adding the merge fields. You can manually put them there, or you can add them automatically. <clears throat> so let's just use the manual method. Go to where the placeholder is, for example, address. Click in that space. Go and click insert merge field and put the correct merge field. Select where the merge field is supposed to be. Remove that placeholder and insert the correct place, the, the merge field. The other merge field is nature of contribution. So we click where nature of contribution is supposed to be. Remove the placeholder and then go to insert merge field and then click nature of contribution. So in this step, we have added now the fields, correct column headings from our data source. In the next step, like you saw, we now go to the next group, which is preview. In preview results here, there are many commands, but the very vital one is preview. Preview allows you to take a look of your letter, because when you click on it, the merge field will automatically be switched to the names eh, as they appear in the data source. So you can use the record navigation buttons to check the next letters. The goal here is proofreading, going through the letters and establishing whether they are correct. And indeed, if you observe that everything is correct, you proceed to the next group, which is finish. Click the drop down arrow, finish and match. Also, there are three commands that are very important here. We have edit individual documents, print documents, send email documents. Let's go through one by one. Edit individual documents would allow you output now the letters to a new document, which you can save and utilize later. Print documents would simply print the letters if your computer is connected to the printer and send email message would now uh, convey or now send the messages. That is if at all we use the Outlook and the data source was having addresses. Eh? Our case, we're going to go with edit individual documents. And when you click edit, this dialog box will appear very, very important. You can choose to output your letter in a custom way, like our table or data source, if you recall, had four records. You may have a number that you want to maybe output, maybe record one to record two. But <clears throat> our case is we want to output, want to have the letters for all the recipients as they appear in our data source. It is why we leave this button, radio button active, 
then click OK. And guess what? Wow, we have our letters outward in a new document. Just look at the file, the, the title bar. Letters one, meaning we have outputted our letters. Let's check. If you look at the status bar here, uh, we have four pages. And if you recall, our data source, our table had four rows. So we can use the scroll bar to scroll to page two. In page one, we are writing to John. Page two, we are writing to Molly. In page three, we are writing to Area. And in page four, we are writing to Juliet. And that's how we make our letters. So Mail Merge Future has combined the main document to the data source and given us the letters. Something very good. I hope you liked it. Huh. Well, now the last step here is to save your file. Click the file tab. Click save us. Click browse. Select your, your location. I'm saving my work on the desktop. Then select your directory or folder. The last step, put the file name. Uh, how do you want the letters to be saved? Uh, mine, let me save them as my final documents. Now, well, the save as type, very important. You can save your letters as a document, but there is also PDF in case you wish. Let me save them as Word documents. And finally, I click save. So there are three things. I have my letters. Uh, I have my data source. Then I have the main document. And now I have the final document, uh, the final letters. Eh? Uh, using the mail merge, we have combined the data source with the letter or the main document to form the final letters, which of course we can now put on storage media and print elsewhere, or now use the mail merge future. Discover later in upcoming videos. Well, that's it. Uh, just that I promised. I want to conclude by sharing uh, some of the very important tips and best practices to you, my viewer, uh, for purposes of uh, good proficiency. The first tip is make sure your data source is very organized with clear headers for each field. The data source is where the magic is. So prepare your data source either using Excel Word, or even the wizard in Word, just make sure the data source has correct column headings that you can memorize or identify later. Number two, test your mail merge. If in our case, of a scenario of a class coordinator who wants to email output a hundred over one hundred letters, so before you now connect the mail document to the data source and complete the mail merge. First sample, break down the data source into smaller fields and, and try to, to test whether the final letter will be very okay. The final letter. Then you can also always use the rules feature in the main document to add conditional logic for customizing best content. So I believe those three tips can make you work like a group. And finally, that's it for our video today. Mail Merge is a valuable tool in Microsoft Word and Publisher for streamlining the, cre the creation of personalized documents. Eh? I believe by following those steps and best practices, you can now efficiently generate large quantities of documents tailored to individual recipients. Please. That has been our video today. I want to ask you to subscribe to our channel so that you can uh, receive uh, notifications in the case new resources are added. Our channel is Teacher Den Sogesha. Thank you. See you in the next video where I will be covering something very important. Wow. Bye.